Welcome to Zoho Marketing Plus. In this video, we'll guide you on how to get started with Zoho Marketing Plus, the unified marketing platform for all your marketing needs. Here's what we'll cover. Managing brands and adding users. Managing your contacts. Configuring social media channels. Installing website tracking code. Creating a marketing project. Once you log in to Zoho Marketing Plus, you can see the list of modules that are available on the left side panel. Brand Studio is where you can create and manage all your marketing projects. On the top right corner, you can see your notifications and the settings page where you can manage all your configurations. With this drop down here, you can switch between multiple brands in Marketing Plus. To start with, let's learn about brands and how you can invite users to Zoho Marketing Plus. Managing brands and adding users. Brand in Zoho Marketing Plus enables you to unify all your marketing activities, users and permissions in a single place. Let's go to settings, brands. Here you can see the brand name, active users, active projects and admins. You can select the brand and add basic information about the brand such as website, description and brand logo. You can also see project stats and the list of configured channels. Now, before we add users, let's go ahead and configure roles. Roles define the permissions a user can have in order to access different channels in Marketing Plus. To configure them, go to the Roles tab. Here, you can see the list of default roles and their permissions. We'll go ahead and create a new role for your social media manager. Click new role here. Enter the name social media manager, for example, and add a suitable description. Let's give this role access to marketing projects, social and brand assets. As a social media manager, they'll need complete access to publish, reply to comments, send DMs, view reports, and so on. Let's go ahead and hit save. Let's now invite the social media manager to Marketing Plus. Go to the Users tab and click Add User. Enter the email address and select the role type from the drop-down list. Click Add. Now, an email will be sent to the user inviting them to your brand in Marketing Plus. You can also create multiple brands to manage different divisions in your business. Every marketing project that your business conducts has a specific aim and purpose. The reasons you might launch a campaign including creating brand awareness, increasing your sales, nurturing valuable leads to increase your conversion rates, cross-selling other products offered by your business, and many more. Marketing Plus enables you to pick the right objective for every marketing project you create so your marketing teams have the right context while planning their activities for a project. You can also choose from different project types to decide how you want to conduct your marketing project. Click the add icon here to create custom objectives and types. Managing your contacts. You can either add contacts manually or synchronize contacts from various services such as Zoho CRM, Salesforce, Microsoft Dynamics 365, Eventbrite and so on. Let's add a contact manually. Go to the Campaigns module and select Contacts. Click Add New Contact from here. Enter the contact basic details, additional details and social info and click add. That's it, you've created a contact. You can also import contacts, generate contacts from a sign up form or synchronize contacts from here. Now, let's see how we can synchronize contacts from Zoho CRM. Click sync here. Click associate new account. When you synchronize Zoho CRM, you can synchronize the CRM data with campaigns, update the sent email campaigns to CRM, update the campaign-related activities of contacts to CRM. 
Click Continue. That's it. Your CRM is now connected with campaigns. Now, we'll synchronize contacts from CRM. Click New Sync here. Select the Contacts module from the drop-down list. Select the mailing list from the drop-down list to which the contact should be added. Select the subscription type. Toggle the Update Empty Field value switch to remove the values of mapped fields when they are deleted in Zoho CRM. Then, click Show Advanced Options. Toggle the Exclude Opt-out Contacts switch to prevent the import of records which have opted out in CRM. Select Remove Opt-out Zoho CRM records to remove the records who have opted out in CRM from campaigns. Click Next. Now, let's map the fields from CRM with campaigns. As you can see, these two fields are already mapped. Let's map the other fields. Click Map More Fields. Select the CRM field and the appropriate campaigns field from the drop-down list and click Add. Let's do this again for the other fields. Once done, click Initiate. That's it. The synchronization has been initiated. Now, the contacts from CRM will automatically be synchronized with campaigns in Marketing Plus. You can start sending email, social and SMS campaigns to your contacts with ease now that all your contacts are part of Marketing Plus. Now let's look at how to manage your leads. Go to Marketing Automation and select the Leads tab. Here, you can see the leads and also add leads manually, import them or synchronize them from various sources such as Zoho CRM, Salesforce, Sugar CRM, GoToWebinar, Eventbrite and so on. Apart from that, you can also generate leads through sign-up forms from your website. Choose from a wide variety of templates and customize them to your needs. Once ready, you can embed the form in your web page or Facebook page. You can also share the form as a link in your social media channels. Configuring social media channels. Now that we have the contacts and leads, let's go ahead and integrate your social media channels from the social module. You can configure your Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Google My Business, YouTube and Pinterest accounts with Zoho Marketing Plus. Let's connect the Facebook account. Click Connect Facebook here. Log into your Facebook account. All Facebook pages associated with the account will be listed here. Select an appropriate page and click Add. Likewise, you can connect any other social media channels from the settings page. Go to social channels here and click connect next to the appropriate social media channel. Once the channels are integrated, you can start creating and publishing posts right from Marketing Plus. You can also respond to your followers via messages, monitor keywords, brand hashtags, product reviews, collaborate and discuss with your team to plan your social media content and view detailed reports to help you understand your audience and track your social media performance. Installing Website Tracking Code Now, Let's move on to setting up your account to track website metrics so you can optimize and personalize the user experience in your website through Page Sense. For this, you need to add the tracking code to your website to run various experiments such as A-B testing, funnel analysis, heat map, session recording and so on. Let's go ahead and set that up. Go to Page Sense module and select Snippet. There are two types of code that can be included in your websites, synchronous and asynchronous. In a synchronous code, the script will run starting from the head tag 
whereas in the asynchronous code, the script will be executed simultaneously. Let's go ahead and copy the synchronous code. You can also send it to your webmaster via email. Go to the head section on your website's source code and paste it at the beginning. This is a one-time process and it will automatically be updated for all experiments within a project. Once added, enter the URL of the website to verify the installation of the tracking code. You will see the confirmation on your website. That's it. You're now ready to start collecting visitor metrics and boost website conversions. Creating a marketing project. Now that we have set up the basic requirements in your Marketing Plus account, let's create a marketing project. Go to the Brand Studio tab and click New Project. Enter the name, select the objective, type and owner from the drop-down list. Specify the launch date and location and then click Save. Brand Studio is a centralized workplace where all of a brand's marketing campaigns can be created and managed. It's where all activities such as email campaigns, social media posts, surveys, webinars, SMS campaigns, blogs and trade shows can be created for a marketing project. Here you can see the complete overview of the project which includes the timeline, list of all activities and pending tasks. The to-do list helps you manage all the tasks related to this project. You can create tasks here and assign them to the respective users. Click Add Task. Enter the name and description, associate the task to an activity and select the owner from the drop-down list. You can also specify the due date and hit save. The to-do list can be grouped by status, activity or owner. The resources section lets you create, store and manage your documents, videos, sheets, product images and anything else that's crucial to your brand and marketing campaigns in one common place. Let's go ahead and create a document. Click New, Zoho Writer, Blank Document. You can also choose to create a document from the list of templates available. Enter the name here and start creating your content. Likewise, you can create a spreadsheet or presentation. You can also create folders or upload files and folders from your local device and the cloud. The Discussions tab lets you collaborate with your team, clear up any questions and decide the next plan of action. You can also attach files to the post or mention another user. In the Activities section, you can click Add to create any activity for this marketing project, such as email campaigns, social media post, survey, event, webinar, SMS campaign, A-B testing, and so on. You can also assign an activity to a user in your team. The Analyze section lets you keep an eye on your website activity and social media as well as different dashboards from Zoho Social, Zoho CRM or Advanced Analytics. In the left pane, you can see the different modules available and access them individually. You can also access recent items and add favorites for quick navigation. At the bottom right corner, you have the notes icon to jot down things to remember. That's it. You have learned all about getting started with Zoho Marketing Plus. For more resources on Marketing Plus, please visit www.zoho.com slash marketing plus slash resources. Thanks for watching.